T-Bone, the world famous T-Bone, and Mark Lumpkin and Lee Holtzy up at First Baptist Church. They're on the lawn up there. They have a, a good view of all the floats that's coming by, and they're going to give you a good description of the floats that come by. And then as they turn onto Main Street, then Michael will be here to finish that up, and we're here for the lighting of the tree in downtown Rockmar. There's a good crowd. What do you think, Michael? There's a very good crowd. There's probably not many seats left on the sidewalk, which is a good thing. A lot of good turnout down here, and uh, everybody's all excited and waiting on the uh, the one and only Santa Claus to make his way down through here tonight. Santa Claus is coming to town. That's right. Rock Mart, Georgia, on a fire truck. That's right. That's right. Can't wait for that. And another thing is a big surprise for you folks that may be listening, trying to make your way down here. There's a great surprise going to be also downtown on South Marble. So uh, even if you are, maybe you want to walk behind Santa Claus if they'll let you and come down behind the fire truck and all because the, uh, not only are we going to be lighting a tree, but we also got a big surprise going on down here tonight also. Yeah, everybody needs to make your way on. To, to, uh, it's 552 right now. you got time to drive to Rock Mart. Sure. And, of course, the parade, will, it'll, it, it, I think it's leaving the the, uh, the old Rock Mart High School at uh, 6 o'clock. So, yep. you know, it'll take a while for all that to travel down. You know how parades work. And I'll give you some a little advice. You can come down and park behind Smith & Lockwood. You can park right. behind my shop. There's probably... I just looked probably five minutes before we got ready to go on the air, and there's probably a good 20 parking places still left back there. But uh, you can make your way down and park behind the store there and just walk right around the edge down by the uh, Aikens print shop and, and get you a good spot there. You'll be right in front of the tree. Yeah, the looks like the parking in the uh, in, over at the trailhead is somewhat full. Somewhat full, you yep. could tr- You could try that, but Michael's got a better idea if you can park on those back streets behind the the downtown vendors you'll be uh you that'll be a shorter walk for you and a good place to park and also you can maybe make it park over and i, I don't think they would mind uh this time of, of day or what i was going on you could park over at the uh fitness center and walk your way over to uh walk your way over to south marble street and watch the parade turn right there because the theater's full the theater parking's already full yeah and and remember now if you if you're at body vision i think is yeah, yeah body vision yeah. if you're up on the hill at uh, on marble you're going to need to walk down to Main Street because the parade route is actually down Elm, and then we're turning left on South Marble. On South Marble. Yep. That, so that's the way you are shooting. So you're not going to be able to, you know, you can park at Body Vision, but you're going to have to walk down to the corner exactly. to see the parade. And, uh, it, hey, Michael, it's 54 degrees. Yes. It's clear. clear. It's clear. Uh, and, and the city's got an event going on, and there's no rain. No rain for a city there. event. I that's, love it. That's amazing. That's I love amazing. it. So it's 54 degrees, you got five minutes to get on down here. It's not too cold. It's it's really perfect outside. Yeah. The weather is great, and uh, we're looking forward. There's kids. Everywhere. My goodness. There's kids everywhere. Yeah, exactly. So load yours up and bring them on down. Downtown Rockmart, you're, you've got the options of downtown Rockmart. The, the street's closed. You can just walk through the street, Yep. sit on the sidewalk, whatever you like to do. Street's closed. But you can uh, you can park along um, M Street, yep. or you could uh, get the first little. Uh, I think the first turn is Piedmont. Piedmont, so yeah. P- Piedmont Avenue, right yeah, there, in front of the city building. But uh, this is Mark Garrett and uh, Velvet. I'm working with Velvet. We got T-Bone. T-Bone will split Velvet and T-Bone up for this uh, event. I know. That's just, that's going to be mad all there. week long. Yeah. I know. That is. Have to get something else going. All right. Y'all make your way on to downtown Rock, Mark. Brian, we're back to you, buddy.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Parade Downtown Rock Mart, where we've been doing this for, I don't know, at least 75 years, it seems like. It's a beautiful parade. People are crowding downtown. I'm Robert Torline. They call me T-Bone. Right next to me is Miss Lee Holsey. She's joining us. So glad to have you. And Mr. Mark Lumpkin. Lee? Thank you. It's good to be here. Haven't heard your voice on the radio in a while, have we? No, I haven't. I haven't heard mine in a while. So, so. you know, if we start <laughs> we start talking about swap shop, you know, we need to we need to stop, That's right? That's right. Okay. It'll be but way past time. You've been great with this parade for many years, and and now you have other responsibilities. So you're here today to help us with this. But what a what a great day, isn't it? It is a great day. I cannot believe that the weather was so beautiful. It's not. It wasn't 70s. But it's sunshiny. We didn't have to worry about any rain or any threat of that because it was going to be rain or shine this year. That's right. And and this is Christmas weather. It's it's beautiful. It's crisp. It's a little bit chilly. But the kids are down there bundled up waiting for the, the parades to come. We're, we're about halfway down. So they'll be starting here any second. Then we'll be hearing them come down here. But it's exciting. I mean, just to watch the little kids' faces and... And Mr. Santa Claus gets to come today. All right. I'm looking forward to seeing Santa Claus. Yeah. No, he's not on the list. He's not on the list because he's not on your list because you've been naughty. <laughs> so, you know, okay. I mean, you you still got time to, to make up to Santa Claus. And, and so okay. the 25th right. is a ways away. All right. And we're going to be uh, switching back and forth downtown. We've got... Uh, Garrett and uh, the Velvet, that, Velvet Teddy Bear. The, the Velvet Teddy Bear, okay. Yeah. Uh, down there in front of Cotton Splinters, so we'll be switching it back and forth down there. Um, too bad that uh, T-Bone and Velvet's not together tonight. No, they, they <laughs> split us up on a different uh, different area, so uh, we're, we're dividing and conquering. Yeah, so we got um, two parts of the parade covered. We should have put somebody at the start up there. Could have put Sharp up there at the start and let him... Uh, Fit, start and finish it. Yeah, that'd have been great. <laughs> but uh, no, but yeah, they should be coming soon. Um, you tell me how you want to handle this. You want to send them for a little bit, or you want to stay here? How do we want to do this, Mark? Because we can keep talking. Um, See, I caught you off guard. You, you did, <laughs> I but, did, because I thought you were producing this show, Rob. Well, you're, you're the director, but okay. So here's the deal: <laughs> we are down here right in front of First Baptist Church, which is beautiful, by the way, and and. While we're here, I'm getting to say thank you for letting us use your front porch. That's right. And this Saturday, they are having a breakfast with Santa um, at 9 a.m. to 11. So please come join them. It, it's for the community breakfast with Santa. Uh, that sounds so good. It does, doesn't it? I wonder who's cooking. It won't be Santa. No? No. But Mrs. Claus, maybe? Maybe so. But uh, once again, a community Breakfast with Santa down here at First Baptist Church um, in Rock Mart. But you look down the street, Lee and Mark, and you see all the lights up on the poles. Now the, the city has put the candy canes up and Santa Claus and the bells. And, and they've done a fantastic job. There were some comments actually on the Facebook page that was from, from the citizens saying how beautiful everything looked and what a wonderful job that they did whenever they put it up. So With it extension of the lights downtown uh, the old part and uh, across the, the building to building it's beautiful down there the park's beautiful you know and it's clean I mean it's really nice uh, yes. they've done a great job <laughs> a very very good job you know part of the reason why they had to change the height restrictions on on the floats this year was because of the lights downtown they didn't want anybody to have a taller float than needed to be that might because jerk that. those down so hopefully everybody adhered to that and we're going to talk about some of that here in just a little bit and we want to thank our sponsors uh for making this possible cotton splinters now and then chicken scratch which was voted the number one bakery uh and desserts for polk county the white tulip market mcnab tires croker's hardware whiteheads flower house just right here beside us rnw laundry and all-star motors so uh, we want to thank all of them for uh helping make this possible tonight and we're just I'm sure the parade has already started. I can kind of hear it just a little bit, but uh, it's going to take a little while for them to get down here to us. Uh, what do y'all say about let's, uh, switching it down to um, down in front of Cotton Splinters and letting Mark and uh, Michael take it for a few minutes? Sounds good. All right, you got it, guys. Hey, it's Mark Garrett. 
I'm, I got uh, a bell that's trying to get his uh, headset on. I got too much going on one time. I'm it's telling okay. you, we're, it's busy. It's okay. It is. We're, okay. we're in downtown Rockmart. The streets are blocked off, and people are just walking down the streets. We got about a three-year-old pushing a stroller right down the center of the street. Right, and got Pawpaw chasing her. That's right. Slow down, honey. Slow down, he said. Hey, Mike. Great crowd down here today, and we hope you're on your way down here. You've still got time. There's and the parade has not showed up in downtown yet. We got quite a bit of travel before we get down this way, but uh, we are a great crowd. I'm telling you, I bet they, they. I mean, there's not a spot on the sidewalk down through here that you can uh, that you could stand. But hey, uh, uh, hey, the closer you get, the warmer it is. That's right. So it's a good crowd down here, and, and we're having a great time. Everybody's having a good time. We got hot chocolate, man. We got it fixed up. Yes. Yeah. So uh, I'm, we're going to walk around. We're going to interview a few people before we go back up to uh, Mark and uh, Lee and Robert. Uh, I'm down here with the world-famous Steve Cover. Tell everybody Merry Christmas, Steve. Merry Christmas, everybody, and have a safe holiday. There you go. Very good. Stevie in the house. <laughs> and if Stevie's here, hey, we need to get Jerry. We need to get Jerry. Where's he at? Jerry! All right, so let's, walk, let's just walk over there. Now, um... If you holler in that mic one more time like that, then you go, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to de-tether you because you're about to bust my ears on, brother. <laughs> you got to walk faster. <laughs> uh, all right, y'all stay with us. Jerry Purdy. Jerry Purdy. Quit hollering that microphone. <laughs> Jerry, 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 Talk to me and Michael. We're on the radio. What are we talking we're down here. about? We're talking about what, 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 we're down here. We are down here to celebrate Christmas in Rockmart. That's it. Yeah. Who needs Hallmark movies? We have Rockmart. Right here. It looks like a Hallmark movie. It does. They it really does. Right. So uh, the like word that. is that Santa Claus is coming to town. Is that anything to have that? Have you heard that? I have heard that. We're doing our best to kind of help him. The city's been distributing right. little gift bags to the children. Great. Well, I didn't have that. I had coal in mine. What's up with that? Well, that's <laughs> there to be you go. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. Love you. All All right. Right. Tell everybody how you're on the radio. We didn't tell you that. Uh, you? Yeah, I kind of figured that. <laughs> hey, tell everybody. Tell everybody Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas from Rockmart, Georgia. All right, this, one and only. That's right. Well, that's Jerry Purdy. So, we're, we're having a great time in downtown Rockmart. This is Mark Garrett along with Velvet. We're, we're switching back to you guys at First Baptist. Hey, Tell everybody. Tell everybody Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas from Rockmark. Right. That's right. Well, that's Jerry Purdy. We're having a great time. All right. I guess we're back here. Hey. Um, and it sounds like they're having a better time than we are. They are. Uh, they got hot chocolate. We didn't. We don't have hot chocolate. But the yeah, parade, and they have Jerry down there. That's right. She's always ready. The uh, the parade's fixing to come. But Lee, let's talk a little bit about. They do give out prizes and uh, for different floats and the competition. Um, there's two different competitions, correct? That they judge on. Yes, um, there are two different groups. There's the church group, and then there's the schools and nonprofit group. So they will be competing against each other in each group. So, so who, who's who's in each group? We have that, don't we? We have the, the churches. We have New Hope Fellowship, Calvary Baptist, Emmanuel Baptist, and Rockmark First United Methodist Church. And so they're competing against each other. And United Methodist First Baptist Church is doing hot chocolate afterwards as well for everybody. If you want to come down and enjoy hot chocolate. There. Oh, well, that sounds really nice. We should have went down there and got us a cup. We should have. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay. On the schools and nonprofit groups, they have the UGA Hope County 4-H, the Boy Scout Troop 17, Hope County Rotary Club, Bomb Squad Softball, the VWF Post and Auxiliary, and Sea Scout Ship. Yeah, that, that was a tough one for me. Yeah, the, the Cub, <laughs> Cub Scout Pack 23. So you already tried. To, I looked that's at why it. you got me to that's read That's why I gave off. it to you. Thank so. you. You're such a sweetheart. And something else about Rockmark that I'm sure a lot of people know, but some might not. You know, they used to build floats. 
the big the big floats here, didn't they? Yes, they did. If you want to look back on some of those historical documents down at the His- History Museum, you can see pictures of when they had Snoopy. Snoopy was featured in the Macy's Day Parade in <coughs> New York and Superman. Superman. Kermit the Frog. See? So. Oh, they built a Weeble. A Weeble. A Weeble. Weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. Well, they <laughs> built one of those up there. Depends on how much rain or wind there is. They, they fell sometime. But uh, I know what you mean. But great floats. I mean, I remember growing up up north watching that and had no idea. This little town of Rockmart that I would move to probably made those floats. That's right. So uh, that was always a big thing for our family. Uh, to watch the uh, Thanksgiving Day float uh, parade, and 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 this has been fun for us over the last 15 years to come out here and watch the parade here. And my kids have been in the band, and Mark, I know yours as well. And it's just a it's just a good little parade, nice little family atmosphere. And years ago, would you believe that I even might have marched in the marching band, Rockmore High School marching band? Probably about Did two years ago, that? right? Yeah. Yeah, we will not say how many years ago that was, but it has been at least 30 years that this has been going on. All right, well, we're going to take a quick break <laughs> before the band, before they get down here, and we'll be right back. Michael and Crystal, along with their 27 amazing vendors, would like to invite you to Cotton Splinter's Marketplace and Christmas Shop, located at 120 South Marble Street in historical downtown Rockmart. Visit us today for all your holiday shopping. We have a wide variety of handcrafted items, home decor, antiques, and vintage items, and much, much more. Hope to see you soon, and we hope everyone has a very Merry Christmas from our family to yours. A grateful heart and a kind smile may be the only gift that someone receives this Christmas season. Merry Christmas from Croker's Hardware and Supply, 1192 Rockmart Highway, Cedartown, 770-748-4842, or visit the website at www.crokerscedartown.com. Merry Christmas from Chicken Scratch at 103 South Marble Street. Voted number one bakery and desserts by the people of Polk County. All right, we're back in uh, just in time. Here comes the parade, the, the blue lights of this coming up here is... Rockmart Police Department. In their, in their truck and... Uh, that's something that, uh, you know, Velvet was just here, but he saw those blue lights and he took off running. So I don't know why, but uh, <laughs> running may, on down the road. Maybe they'll catch up. And right behind him is is our mayor right now, um, Mr. Miller, Steve Miller. He uh, he is retiring this month. Yes. And uh, you know, but we appreciate everything he has done. It's a, a great job he's he's done this past year. We appreciate him. Yes, so, we do. Um, and then next, here comes the sheriff's department in their white truck. Just um, some very nice trucks that they have. And that car he's driving, the Miller's in. That's a that's an old one. Yeah, I I don't know what it is, but it's one of those that has the little flip up back seat. Yep. Old timey, almost reminds you of Bonnie and Clyde or something. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and now we got the county police there. They're here as well. So, and then we got the Boy Scouts. Is this Troop 17? I think it says correct. Uh, they're marching with their flags, and they always do a great job with the flags. There, there for a while we used to have problems with figuring out who was going to be the ones that carry the flags. The Boy Scouts they came forward and they did a great job, and they've been here with us for the last few years, and they do a fantastic job with that. It looked like they're walking a little fast because there's a big break from the next bunch, which well, is... A bunch of boxes. <laughs> that is probably... Cedar Town? Rock, is, it, is it the middle school? Um, we're going to find out here in a minute. It might gonna, be Cedar Town. We're going to all be surprised. They're uh, actually carrying presents. The whole front section... 
Santa's little helpers. Yes, they are. They have big boxes of presents. No, that's our, that's, that's our band. That's Rockmore High School. Well, there you go. They're leading it off. Must be the color guard that's in front. Um, and they're carrying the, the presents, the packages down to Santa Claus, who's going to be downtown after the parade. And now they're playing for us here. So they're going to play some music for us. They're stopping in front of us. We appreciate that. Our hometown band. My son, little Robert's in there. Mark? My son is in there, too. Really? So which instrument did they play? Uh, um, <clears throat> mine's playing the trumpet. Trumpet? Mine's blowing in something. <laughs> <laughs> now, you should know. I do. <laughs> I told him, I said, I'm going to say, that, that's Robert. He just messed up, but I won't say that to him. He's, <laughs> he's been in it for a while. He loves it. But... Uh, Nice Christmas music they're playing. They're doing a great job. The dancers up front, even Miss Tracy is dancing. That was their present to you. Uh, great playing. job. That was very nice. All the spectators are waving at them. Well, that gives everybody else time to catch up, too. So that was very nice. And behind them is the uh, truck and the trailer. The nice uh, trailer they have for the band. Very nice. There was some confusion. People were calling and asking about the ending of the parade. In past years, the bands did go to the end at A.B. Brown. They would meet up there. They're going to work that out to where they're not down there this time. Okay. They're going to wrap around the back side on Slate Street and load back up downtown. Oh, there you go. Got some more fire departments coming in here now. This is the uh, Polk County Fire Department and rescue truck. Looks like our first float, Lee. All right, here we go. Let's see which one this is. We can tell. Float number 726, whatever number that is. Um, um, let me see. The Bomb Squad. That the, is the Bomb Squad. It's got a nice lit up Christmas tree in the middle of their float. And it yep. looks like they have a little reindeer. Yeah, lights all around. Beautiful little float. And followed by another truck with a snowman with antlers. <laughs> I think he's safe. Is that? <laughs> might be a might be a bear. I don't know. Uh, yeah. It's a polar bear with antlers, mm. or but it's <laughs> nice. Here comes another fire truck. He's all another lit up. Polk County Fire Department. This is the volunteer. yellow truck. This is a volunteer group. Yeah, engine number three. And they have it lit up with the little red lights around, and some additional red lights besides just your normal emergency lights they have the christmas lights wrapped do we need to send this down to velvet uh, we want to keep going for a little bit i haven't heard from them so okay we'll keep going a little bit here comes another one we got a big gap here and they, i believe that they and have walkers they really should have been because they stopped up here so they gave them some time but uh for 20 seconds at yeah, least yeah <laughs> but this one's got this one's got a house on it and it looks like it's going to be a Gingerbread Ginger house. Bread house. I think. What do you think? I think it is. Like Not the gumdrop button house. Here it comes, finally close enough to where we can see. It's got candy canes on the side and white lights on the top. It's got a nice window. So. They got a lot of packages from Santa Claus. Could be Snoopy's doghouse, too. It's about the size of that, but it's not. I think yeah. it's the gingerbread house. New Hope Fellowship. That's New Hope Fellowship. Float. That's in the... Well, somebody's got some good eyes. Yeah. Where do you see that? Um, they have it here on the side. The little... Looks like candy 
pieces <laughs> with each oh, little okay. letter in a candy piece. <laughs> you have good gut. You've got yeah, good eyes to good see eyes. that. <laughs> and then they have walkers in behind the float that are doing a little dance with little white flags. They're singing along. And then we got the Chick-fil-A cows here. And he's riding in the back of a truck. <laughs> he's trying to convince you not to eat cow. Ah, wow. Anyway, that's nice. He's got the Chick-fil-A travels well um, <laughs> van right behind him. And it yeah. looks like the 4 H's are going to catch, catch them. They must be hungry. I think they are hungry. That's a oh, good and they're so cute. They're dressed up as if they are the packages walking. You know, at one time they were somebody's package. That's right. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> you are exactly right about that. Yeah. Next up is another float with an angel flying. This is a First United Methodist Church float. They always and do a nice job. I believe that this angel is one of the many beautiful pieces of art by Susan Waters. Susan Waters is amazing. She is an absolute amazing artist. And a person. Yes, she wonderful is. Wonderful person. Beautiful, wonderful person. Now you got the Rotary Club with the new mayor on the back, uh, Sherman Ross. Sherman Ross and his wife, Debbie. She's actually going to be the mayor. Sherman's just going to be the sidekick. <laughs> but, uh, and then you got Bo Jangles. That's a nice truck. That is a very nice truck. And you got a chicken in the back. So I'm, I wish they would have put the Chick-fil-A and Bojangles closer so we could have had a chicken fight. <laughs> so. I know it would have been just a little chicken brawl out there. That would have been good. So he's doing the chicken dance right now in the back of the truck. And look, on the on the back of that rotary, there's they have the duck. A picture of the duck reminding you to play the duck race. Oh, that's right. That was clever. Now we got an ambulance. I'm hoping that it's just in the parade. He's going slow, so that's good. So this is Redmond Ambulance Service. It's in case have a chicken fight. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we can rush them on and get them taken care of. Why don't we send it? We got a break coming up. Why don't we send it down to downtown to uh, Mark and Velvet down there? So guys, we're gonna let you take it away, Brian. Uh, you send it down there to them. All right, this is Mark Garrett. We are, the parade has arrived on Main Street. And I'm telling you what, it's a good looking parade. The band just made it through. Got a couple fire trucks coming through. Now we're seeing some good looking floats coming down. That's right. We, uh, we're, uh, well, I, I've enjoyed listening to Rob, Robert and Lee and Mark tell about what's coming, but it kind of full surprise for me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, know, we know what's coming. Oh. Hey, we, uh, we, uh, we, we, we're just randomly picking some people out of the crowd here, and we've, we run across Clint Brock, Clint's the uh, owner-operator at uh, Raceway, and uh, we appreciate him and his family, even though he is an LSU Tiger fan. Oh. Hey, bad week to be a Tiger oh. fan, but well, we we'll, love you. We'll see you on Saturday. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, we're Tigers. All right, yeah. All right. So let's, let's get away from football just a second and talk about this great season that we're in. Well, I can't let him do that. Absolutely. Go Bulldogs. That's uh, it. Yeah. Absolutely. Just, you know, Merry Christmas uh, from, from my family and the Raceway family. Thank you, guys. Uh, I'm glad I got picked out of the crowd here. Can't wait to see this uh, beautiful tree lit up and hope everybody's down here enjoying this uh, parade. Yeah, well, Santa Claus is coming to town. That's right. Literally. And he's going to light this tree in just a few minutes. But, Clint, we appreciate you and your family and everything you do for the community. And, uh, you got a great store. Everybody enjoys shopping there. We appreciate Thanks, you so Mark. much, and y'all have a Merry Christmas. You too. Go yeah. Tigers. All right. Appreciate it, Clint. <laughs> Thank you, Clint. <laughs> Go dogs. All right. We're going to step around here. Let's talk to Keith Sorrell. Keith, you're on the Hi, radio. Mark. How are you? We're good. I want you to just tell everybody Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to everybody in Rockmart and all the surrounding areas. All right. Go appreciate ahead. you, Keith. Yeah. So appreciate much. Yes, Thank sir. you, Keith. All right. We're going to step over here and talk to Mayor Steve. You're on the radio, brother. Live. Live on the radio. See you, Miller Mayor of Rockmart. We're down here with me and Michael just walking around randomly picking out 
Going through the crowd. Good, I know. Pick out what good, a nice rough parade in downtown Rockwell. Well, you know, we finally got an event that the city has put on, and we ain't going to rain in the forecast. No, we got, hey, a, we, we got a spotlight it's shining up there. Nice. The thing's been rough on the festivals the all yeah, through the year, but, yeah. man, what a great night. Warm temperature. And a great, great turnout. Crowd all the way, the whole parade route. Yes. And a lot of good participants tonight, so we are really fortunate to have it. This is awesome. So we're going to have a beautiful tree lighting in a few cere- few minutes with yep. snow tonight. Woo! Oh, my my cat all about it. Oh, for the lighting. Is I'm it going to snow you, down here? It's going to snow down here yeah. when well, Santa Claus gets to town. Let's we'll look at the gingerbread house. Wow. That's nice. Johnny, great, great floats coming by down here in Rock Mart. Yes. We're, we're enjoying the crowd. The crowd is great. Yes. Crowd. I mean, uh, the whole route I was watching, we're, yeah. we're full. Elbow to elbow. Yeah. And uh, just so glad everybody came out. Yeah. Now we need everybody to come out next uh, Saturday for Santa Claus and get their pictures made with him yeah. from 11 to 3. All 11 right. to 3. So up in downtown Rockmart all the time, so if you need to check in with WZOT, check out, check out the Facebook. What's the Facebook page? Facebook page, WZOT is a WZ www.wzotradio.com. <laughs> uh, you can also look on the City of Rockmart page, and you can look up uh, Cotton Spooner's Marketplace Christmas Shop. They That's keep right. informed of yes, what's going on. Yes. And I heard Robert say earlier that the cow was riding in the truck. He's out walking now, Robert. The cow is oh, out walking. walking. Oh, man, look at the kids in the present, in the box, in the present. All right. right. Wow. Well, look, Steve, right. tell everybody Merry Christmas. Hey, Merry Christmas. I uh, hope everybody has a wonderful, wonderful Christmas and a Happy New Year. It's been my pleasure to serve as the mayor, and uh, I'm I'm going out the end of this year. Chairman Ross is coming in, going to do a great job, and we're looking for wonderful things for Rock Mart. That's right. That's we appreciate year. your service, Steve. Thank appreciate you. everything you do for the community. Thank appreciate you. It. Merry Christmas. All right, Brian. Well, we. We're, we're done for here for just a few minutes. We'll take a break, send it back up to those guys, and uh, so they can tell you what's coming our way. All right, we're back and uh, just had the Calvary Baptist go by and a uh, nice float. And uh, then you had Rent to Own that's changed over to Tilly's Home Furnaces. And they're going right. to be beautiful place. Go down and see them. And we've got some big trucks in front of us now from All Star Motors. You, the uh, Cedar Town Marching Band just played some music for us. Uh, good job, uh, Christmas music. Yes, they did. And let me tell you about this Calvary. They had a float that had a huge cross and a Christmas tree and some presents. And it was a well made, looked really good. And then after that, we had, I believe that it was Mr. Phil Tilly. Yes, it was. It was Phil Tilly. And then, like you said, Tilly's. Tilly's Derek, home furniture. Derek was out there, and yep. he had on a new outfit that I think that I that you need to get you one. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> but now we've got the uh, we'll, we'll go here real quick. We got the VFW Post 7402 um, in front of us here. We got a boat. Um, can't see who that is. Maybe your eyesight's better, but I don't see anything. But no, I don't see. Kids riding in the back with presents and another fire truck. I mean, I'm not sure about the boat, but they have it lit up all nice and neat. And sure. some kids are in the back ready to go skiing. But now we got uh, we got some military coming down here right now, which we uh, want to say thank you to and uh, all yes, the service can, they do for us. We can never thank them enough. No. Their we, service and their sacrifice and their families and their sacrifices. We get to have things like this, parades, because of them keeping us free. Exactly. Everybody's giving them a good big round of applause. We thank them for their service. And They're in a nice 
I think that one up there uh-huh. at the top might be a little bit too young to be in the military, but he's riding with Dad, <laughs> so go that's ahead good. And training them up right. That's right. Now we got oh. Oh, they're putting another kid on there. They're look, they have recruited another one. Uncle Sam says, I want you. <laughs> and, uh, and he's coming to get you out of the parade. Oh, they're get the out picture of the cur- taken. Out of the crowd. I got it. I got it. That's awesome. So that was very nice of them to take the picture with the yes, youngins. Yes, it was. They'll remember that forever. We got Isaac Streetman. And, uh, Hometown celebrity right here. Rocktown Revival coming up behind. I tried out for America Idol once. And how'd you do? I couldn't get the car started to go down there, so <laughs> probably a good thing. At least you tried. Yes. And next, right behind them, is a bunch of youngins in the back of a truck. It was all lit up. It's a white truck, and they're <laughs> waving, and I can't see anything other than, oh, it's in the back, Lee. Can okay. you get it? it um, Hold on, let's see. Um, no, I need the binoculars. Mark, do you have gas? Because we do. It's Blossman Gas and Appliance <laughs> Truck All coming right. down here in the middle. They're in the parade. It's I about never... that time everybody needs gas in there to keep warm because, <laughs> wow, it's cold. Yes, it is. Oh, nice float we have Very right here. Very nice float. And let's see who this is. This it is looks like they, were, they a, had a sign, but it's flipped up. It's a Christmas story float. It's got the bunny ears in the back and the pink bunny suit. Oh, and look, the big pieces of candy. Yeah. The lollipops. And then you got Peach State Ford in a spider vehicle right behind him. A very nice vehicle. One that my wife says, no, I can't have. But... Uh, is she afraid that you might be naughty. drive it too fast? Be naughty. <laughs> so, but there's a truck right behind that could we could make that happen. We got High Tower Falls fire engine coming in now. And uh, it's like they have their elves and helpers riding with them. Well, you knew sooner or later it was going to happen. This thing's gone to the dogs. No, do you think so? It has. It's They're, gone to the and, dogs. And they have they are coming to be part of the parade, didn't they? Precious Paws. Precious Paws. Is up and they got a that's a huge dog. They're that always like, involved. Like a horse. I could probably <laughs> ride him. He wouldn't be happy, but I could probably <laughs> ride him. Wow. Yep, they're coming behind, and uh, we could we could make some money, Robert, if you got on that dog and rode it. <laughs> it would be a short <laughs> ride, I promise you. <laughs> and then we got a, there we go, another big dog, a small dog, and they're dressed up in their fancy Christmas outfits. Speaking of dressing up, usually on during Halloween, the festival treats that unfortunately got canceled this year because of the rain. They usually always have a sweet little contest, the costumes for the pets uh, adorable if you've missed it and if you ever get a chance next year you can show up for that now we've got this little train coming on here that's uh, what you need to ride in robert is is that little train <laughs> here's here's the problem with that it's a barrel i could get in it but i wouldn't get out of it <laughs> the cars look like barrels that they've cut it's yeah. a little. Wa- it's called the wagon train. Those kids are like uh, four and five, yes, and that's they're the ones who can fit in that. Not this 52-year-old. The wagon <laughs> train. It looks like a little dog. Yeah. Oh, I get yeah. it. Sorry, little slow. W a g g i n. And now we got a trailer <laughs> full of children, um, waving at us. We love kids. Yes, we do. Let's give them some candy. But- City of Rock Mart has sent out volunteers to hand out candy to the kids this year. Now, and here's a very nice float. The Holy Bible sitting on top of Joy and uh, Emmanuel Baptist Church. It's very nice. Wonderful job. 
they have their walkers behind them? You should follow the Bible. If you learn anything, you follow the Bible. That's right. That's after all. Jesus is the reason for the season. That's right. Now we got family savings. And it looks like McGruff, dog cousin, um, is riding back there. He's he's a dog for family savings. And now we've got a. That's Bill Scherf, see, isn't it? Get her done. Usually is. I, I'm guessing it is. In the old red fire truck. Now we've got. Cedar Town fire truck. Yeah. That's their white engine. And they have all different colors for, I guess, for different reasons where they're at. But, uh, you know, very nice trucks. Now we've got another band coming. This could be Cedartown Middle School or Rockmart Middle School. Still waiting for the big float Snoopy to come down the street. I'm sure it's coming soon. He just can't make that left-hand turn. That's what happened. Actually, I think Snoopy's retired. Wait. Wait. No. No, it's not. Look. I believe it is. Look who it is. There he is. It's Santa He's Claus. He's down here. It is Santa Claus. And... He's waving at all the little children. They're waving back. What? He's pointing at Jeff Sharp saying, you've been naughty? <laughs> yes. He is right. So, anytime I can get a dig on Jeff, I'm here. Uh, but yeah, it looks like our middle school band. That's exactly who it is right in front of Santa Claus. Playing Jingle Bells. And Rob Martin Fire Department. There's Ho Ho himself. We're so excited to see Santa. Remember where I live, Santa. Remember. He, he pointed the other he way. He just turned his he head. He turned his head as soon as you said that. So <laughs> we have got the end of the parade coming down with these police cars behind. So what we're going to do, Lee, we appreciate you joining us. Yep. And Mark, Thank you thanks, for Lee. inviting me. We're going to send this down to Velvet, and let's see what he can get. And we're we'll going to we go send it down there to them, and we're going to close it out on our part and That's start right. packing up. And uh, so, Mark and, and Velvet, take it away. All right. We're back back downtown. Let me get my sounds on here. And uh, we uh, just had a Rolling Rock concert. Just yeah, I was screaming just rolled by. Yeah, uh, and, and tearing it up. Yeah, I can't tell you. Great day. <laughs> so uh, we're down here, and uh, we're with Derek Tilly. Hey, from uh, what's up? Tilly Home Furnishings, formerly Rockmart Rip Home. And uh, Derek, we love Derek. We appreciate him being down here with us. And uh, Derek walked the parade route in his festive clothing he has here. And uh, you probably oh, yeah. got a picture of that on Facebook somewhere. Yeah, we're going to have, we got the whole crew. I had about 10 of us on there. Oh, yeah. got my dad in the picture. All right, well, something's happening in downtown Rockmart that you don't see often and uh won't you just tell them what's happening down here no, in downtown right if i tell them they might think i'm back drinking no no, no one in the air no one it's it the whole no one. in the air yes, yes. sir that's right if we're at the tree man we've had a good time tonight yes uh, it's a yes. good crowd the weather's been pleasant not too cold not too hot if you're not here you've missed it that's right, that's right. I'm, glad that's right. I'm glad y'all here with the radio uh, you walked the whole route. Was there a good crowd all the way? It was. I rode part of the route. Oh, did? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be honest about it. Yeah. I rode part of the route. Yes, sir. Right. So, it was me, a good crowd. It was a real good crowd. Why not? They told us that there's going to be a special guest show up here in just a few minutes as the Precious Piles crew goes by. That's a bunch of cute little dogs. Okay, and big dogs. Look and at that over there. It's as tall as Stevie. <laughs> so everybody's walking the parade. It's great. But Derek, who's come, have you heard who's coming down here tonight? I heard Santa Claus is going to be here soon. All right, well, if, if you're out there, Flash is down here from the Dukes of Hazard. It's Flash. <laughs> it is. Oh, Flash. Hey, hey, Flash. <laughs> so that's called the wagon train, and wagon. that's for the folks. Uh, and the Santa Claus town folk, you may It's got a Winnie dog on the side of it. Yeah. That's, so, a, that's a nice little train we got there. Yes. Yes. So Derek, you uh, we got just a small break before we get a couple more clothes. So tell us about your, uh, you, you, you've had a name change. We rebranded the store. We're, uh, we've rebranded. 
Uh, thought for that's for the best. We dropped the Rock Mart Rich on with Chili's Home Furnishing. Still offering the same service, same deals. Uh, we just no longer in house financing. We're outsourcing all that. Um, but no, you know, other than that, it's, uh, same great low prices. Uh, broad, just broadening out the store a little bit. Right. You know, well, the store the store's grown by almost three times in the okay. last year and a half. Oh, yeah, we got about. We got about uh, eight thousand square foot of wow. merchandise, yeah. and probably more than that if it wasn't stacked up. You know, there if you we go. unstacked it all, some of the stuff stacked up. Look at that big old dog! I, I don't want him to his feet feet feet. Feet. I don't I don't He needs to keep on going. I don't want him to yeah, slow down. I know that's right. Well, we got a float coming from Emmanuel Baptist Church. We appreciate these good people. That's where uh, the Corey Holy Smith. Bible. Corey yeah. Smith is the pastor. Yep. Over to Manual. Right across from Rockmore High School. Now, Derek, you do a lot of work at Rockmore Rent Zone or Tilly's Home Tilly's Home Person. Person. Uh, That's right. So, and, but you also do a lot of work for your church. Yes. And we appreciate that. Why don't you tell these people where you go to church? We go down to Calvary Baptist Church, and they were in a, they were in a, uh, had a float right above us, right in front of us. And, uh, That's where your daddy was. Uh, yeah, he was in the That's float. Right. Yeah. He had hey, a, come here, Corey. There's Corey. All right, we're going to just get Corey. He's talking to Blake. You're on the radio. Go up by Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas and praise the Lord. That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's Corey Smith. Oh, oh, the man. Man. He about got his kids out in the middle of that. Oh, Lord. Lord. Poor fella. Twins. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, Emmanuel's putting in Calvary at our church. We're back-to-back champions uh, at the float. We have won first place back two years in a row. I think Emmanuel should uh, run for it this year. Oh, okay. Good. Good. All right, so it's going to get loud here for just a minute. Yeah. Y'all yeah. no, bear with it. Letting it go here tonight. Uh, uh, the super sound fire department is hammered down on the back. <laughs> we need to go over there and do that. Our fire department. That's right. Yeah. Get the kitchen getters. I think that's Center Town, isn't it? The middle school. The middle school. No, that's Rockmark Middle School. Yep. So we got the Rockmark Middle School band coming by. And uh, I'm going to tell you. It's about time for the big guy. It's about, I believe that's about, I believe that's him on the back of that truck right there. Well, Derek, look, I know you got things to do. Yeah, I got to go. Appreciate y'all. So Thank y'all for all y'all do. Yes, Brian does a great job. Y'all yeah. do a great job at the radio station. Happy to meet. Merry right. Christmas, and God bless y'all. Right. Thank Appreciate you, Derek. You. All right, look here, that old St. Nick is marked on the back of that ladder. Look at St. Nick. Here Nicky's we are. Ready. He has arrived. Santa Claus has come to town. Yes. He is here. He already is. They're going to have to make a way for him to get over to the tree. And he's going to be the man of the, on, on the hour to light the tree up and get our Christmas season downtown rock mart officially kicked off. That's right. So Santa Claus is... Uh, He's on the he's on the back of the ladder truck. You think they'll lift the ladder and let him down? Or he just walk down. I'm not sure. <laughs> and it's snowing down here, by the way. It is. It is snowing in downtown Rockmart, yes. believe it or not. It is snowing. Santa Claus is uh Santa Claus gotta make his descent. Yeah, yes. As, as everybody's gathered around him, of course kids is gathered around wanting to see him just as bad as not worse than some of the grown folks, but uh, there's all these kids high side. I'm telling y'all, if you're not down here, you have missed oh, yeah. a, a great parade and a super duper turnout. They everywhere. So Santa Claus is here, and he is here to light the Christmas tree in downtown Rockmore, right in front of the old city hall. And we're just now the, Yeah, here, here comes the folks. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> they all coming around the Christmas tree. There'll be kids in the tree right here before it's set up. Hey, y'all. There'll be kids in this tree. People trying to get up on the back side, the front side. Oh, look. Look, 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 look out here. Come on over. 
God. It's yeah. Thursday night. You're supposed to talk you're on the radio. Right. So, so we just said, you can't, hey, you can't miss a tradition. Yeah, I know it, right? That's right. <laughs> hey, I got another question. All right. Has Sonny brought you something? Oh, here we go. Oh, look at that. Yeah. The light of the tree. I mean, in New York City. There we go. <laughs> Santa Claus has lit the tree. We're right here with Coach Posh. It's going over with you people. Tell everybody Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. All right. Appreciate you, Coach Posh. He, he right. didn't talk as much as he normal does. No, on uh, night. he's off. This he's is one Thursday night. He doesn't have to. Put a huge star on top of this tree. This is beautiful. What a great sight, folks, down here in downtown Rockmark with lighting up the tree. Santa Claus has just lit the tree. I get to see that every day. That's beautiful. Yes. Isn't that great? Yes. You know what's amazing is all these people standing around. We've got kids everywhere. And the Santa Claus hat. There's out. That's why I love living in Rockmark, Georgia. Look at it. I mean, it's like it's like Jerry said when we first come on to the show. It's like a, a Hallmark movie. That's right. I mean, they seem to be still standing on the sidewalk looking at and, and like Googling off. Wow. So there's a huge line for Santa Claus. Yes. And uh, But I believe that's going to wrap this up. Well, thank y'all, and I've, I've truly enjoyed it. Had a good time. I hope everyone uh, enjoyed the broadcast and, and everything. It's so, been uh, good. We've enjoyed doing this with this first time. This first time uh, broadcast the parade, and I'm glad the timing worked out. When we could do that. And the weather. Yeah. Listen, I'm going to run to our sponsors right quick because without the sponsors, we could not do this on the radio. And we appreciate uh, it. Marketplace and Christmas Shop. Now and then, Chicken Scratch, White Tulip Market, McNabb Tire, Croker's Hardware, Whitehead's Flower House, All Star Motors, and RW Laundry. We appreciate all these people. And if you'll patronize them, we sure would appreciate it. Tell them you appreciate the, you know, them bringing the parade to you on WZOT. Michael, it's been a good night. It's been a great night. It's been, it's been great. It's a huge parade, great turnout for the parade, and a lot of good-looking floats in the parade. So uh, it, was a, it was a great turnout. And look, look at the snow. The snow it is coming down. Snow it's out snowing here on, the on Santa Claus' head. Yes. yes. So uh, listen, that next year, we're going to do it again. Next year, the city's going to have, they done, they done informed us, they're going to have something even bigger next year. So oh, stay right. tuned. we got 365 more days. Can't wait for that. Listen, if you're a church, if you're a local church here in town, you need to get a, a, a float in, these, in this parade. Yes. That's a great outreach. A lot of people get to see your church name and all your church folks. And great great time to hand out bulletins and all of hey. that. Tell everybody what's going on in your church. A lot of folks love churches that has a great youth. So... so Department. Reason for the season is Jesus Christ, and we thank right. God for the, the season and, and Christmas, and we appreciate everybody listening. Michael, it's been a joy, and Brian, we're going to send it back to you. We appreciate you, Brian, back yes, to the sir. studio. A lot of hours put in back every day, young man. Thank Pre- you, Brian. Appreciate you. And we appreciate you guys there at the parade tonight, and we hope everybody if you're able to make it out to the parade tonight, enjoy it a great time. But if you weren't, I hope you enjoyed it here on the radio with us. And all of our sponsors, thanks again for helping us bring you the live coverage of tonight's parade. And Cotton Splinters, there in downtown Rock Mart. Also now and then, Chicken Scratch, also White, Tulip Market, McNabb Tire, Kroger's Hardware, Whitehead's Flower House, and also RW Laundry and All Star Motors, Bill Surfacy. Appreciate everybody helping us bring tonight's parade coverage live from downtown Rockmart. Have a good evening, everybody. Stay with us. We've got some great music on the way for you. <laughs>